Uh, I'm Jamun Yang from Samsung Medical Center. Uh, first, I would like to introduce my practice regarding VA ECMO winning. Uh, with the minimal uh, ECMO flow for one hour, uh, I considered winning. Uh, when patients were hemodynamically stable without vasopressor or with a low amount of pharmacologic support, uh, such as norepinephrine less than uh, 0.05 microgram per kilogram per minute and dope time in less than 5, mean arterial pressure more than 65 millimeter mercury, uh, acceptable echocardiographic parameter. CVP rest than 15 and lactate rest than 2. This is one of the key slides on ECMO winning. Uh, 10 years ago, the French group suggests simple and easy to acquire Doppler echocardiographic parameter as predictors of subsequent ECMO winning success in patients recovering from severe cardiogenic shock. An ECMO winning trial uh, was undertaken when the patient was considered hemodynamically stable with baseline mean arterial pressure uh, more than 60 millimeter mercury while receiving low or low dose budget pressure and a uh, percentile arterial wave form maintains for at least 12, 12 or 4 hours. And uh, when primary, primary blood oxygenation was not compromised. The ECMO flow was decreased to 66% uh, for uh, 10 to 15 minutes, uh, then to 33% and or two uh, minimum of uh, 1 to 1.5 liters per minute for another 10 minutes. All wind patients had uh, partially or fully recovered from severe cardiac dysfunction. And, and they had a total rate of full ECMO winning trial, and they had aortic VTI more than 10, a rejection pressure more than 20 to 25 percent, and a mitral S prime uh, more than six, a minimal ECMO flow support. Recently, uh, an algorithm of flow sheet recommended. In patient deemed ready for winning, uh, stepwise bed size decrease in echo flow, increase free road to the heart, allowing the clinician to assess cardiac recovery using hemodynamic and echocardiographic data. Particularly increasing pulse pressure on the arterial line waveform without concomitant LV or IV distension, while ECMO circuit flow gradually decreased, indicated improve cardiac conflictivity. If the result are satisfactory, a final win is scheduled in the operating room, which would allow controlled decanulation or expected decanulation. If cardiac recovery is unlikely or cannot be achieved despite medical optimization and recovery of endocrine function, a direct heart transplantation or a durable MCS should be considered. This is the Samsung Medical Center experience. Uh, this figure, uh, uh, the percentage of patients who fulfilled conventional echocardiographic criteria and minimal echo flow, only 30% of successfully wind patients uh, fulfilled all parameters of con con conventional criteria. Even 16% of failed winning patients fulfilled all three conventional criteria. The percentage of patients fulfilling conventional criteria did not differ between the successful and failed winning groups. Conventional echocardiographic criteria, including preload dependent parameter, and may not reflect native heart function in increased preload condition with a reduced echo flow. So we hypothesize that rest load sensitive echocardiographic parameters during dynamic echo flow change may better predict successful echo winning. Uh, therefore, we investigate the change of echocardiographic parameters according to the echo flow during flow reduction trial. 
Uh, this is a, a representative case of successful weaning patient. With echo flow reduction, uh, there is increased free load and decrease after load. Uh, visual LV ejection friction seems to be rather improved, but uh, could be controversial uh, because probable limitation of LV ejection friction is each operated dependence and mistake due to endocardial delineation error. And uh, until now, LV ejection friction uh, was one of the important parameters uh, to assess cardiac recovery before ECMO winning. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, we can appreciate that uh, it is not very helpful for uh, the most of case. Most doppler parameter uh, retro E prime velocity and IVS prime velocity uh, improved significantly with the flow reduction. It means that uh, this heart recovering from cardiogenic shock still has a preserved fractal uh, solid reserve. Change of retro E prime, uh, tricuspid annular S prime, IVFAC, and LVOT VTI during uh, ECMO flow reduction trial between successful winning and failed winning group are uh, described in this video. Uh, the delta uh, retro E prime, delta S prime, delta uh, FAC, and delta uh, LVOT VTI was significantly different between the two. On uh, univariable analysis, uh, any improvement of retro E prime and more than 10% improvement of tricuspid S prime uh, during ECMO flow study are significantly uh, significant predictor for ECMO winning, uh, but not LVOT VTI and LV ejection pressure and minimal flow. A new criteria uh, the criteria with the improvement of retro E prime and tricuspid S prime uh, during echo flow study would be better for distinguishing patient with successful winning than conventional criteria. Uh, these findings suggest the dynamic change of the flow echocardiographic parameter uh, during flow study may be a potential indicator of cardiac result. Every function is important during ECMO winning process. A previous study reported a significant number of IV failure uh, in patients who failed winning from ECMO. The RV is highly vulnerable to increase reload with the expected ECMO winning and also susceptible to fresh overload secondary to RV dysfunction if, the, uh, if RV is prematurely recovered. However, a coupling index between uh, RV contractility dysfunction and primary circulation uh, reflect the comprehensive performance of RV by integrating afterload and contract. In real world practice, a repeated winning trial with uh, a reduction of flow to evaluate native cardiac function uh, may be harmful uh, because a uh, substantial pro uh, proportion of patients may experience a sudden drop of their front pressure and minimal echo flow. So, uh, it's important to determine echocardiographic predictor uh, for successful winning from ECMO on the uh, full ECMO support. Therefore, uh, we investigated uh, if non-invasively measured RVP coupling would predict successful VA ECMO winning on the full ECMO support. First, we want to see uh, if there was a correlation between uh, invasively and non-invasively measured RVP coupling under the full ECMO support. In this quote, uh, only seven patients had swan gauge catheter and simultaneously monitored the hemodynamic value at the time of echocardiogram. As you can see here, uh, we observed the significant correlation uh, among non invasively measured RVPC coupling in this case, including PEPC over IVSP, AS prime over IVSP. Uh, free wall uh, longitudinal strain of RBSP. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, we can see a significant correlation between invasively measured PA compliance and non-invasively measured RBPC coupling.
Uh, I will uh, analyze this world problem to assess uh, the predictive performance of IBPC coupling metrics for uh, predicting success for winning. Among RBPC coupling parameters, uh, uh, S prime, TFC, RBC, free world strain, exhibit a satisfactory predict value. Uh, Friedrich performance uh, uh, was uh, similar among these uh, three parameters. Uh, Friedrich performance of three uh, RBPs coupling index uh, was significantly better than uh, conventional criteria consisting of uh, RB parameters. I'd like to introduce a successful winning case at the uh, five, uh, 59 year old man underwent VA ECMO due to permanent myocarditis. Five days after ECMO insertion, uh, echocardiography was done uh, at ECMO flow uh, at three of three liter per uh, minute. Uh, with functional parameters were uh, uh, TEPC uh, 9.5, uh, S prime 5, a free world strain uh, around 10%, RBSP 60 millimeter mercury. IBPC coupling, uh, 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 Tap C over IBSP is uh, 0.56, S prime over IBSP is 0.31, 31, and uh, strain IBSP is 0.56, which were all above the cutoff value uh, for successful winning. Uh, the ECMO winning trial uh, was performed after echocardiography, and he was successful win from ECMO. This is a failed winning case. A 52 year old man uh, with uh, idiopathic uh, dilated cardiomyopathy underwent ECMO uh, due to cardiac shock. Uh, seven days after ECMO insertion, echocardiography was done. Uh, RV, if a functional parameter, uh, uh, TEPC 11, uh, S prime 4, uh, free world strain around 8%, uh, IBSP 35. I will push coupling index. Uh, all the value uh, were uh, below the cutoff value of for successful winning. Uh, the echo winning trial failed after echo cardiography. He was breached to the uh, heart transplant. And from our experience, we uh, demonstrated better uh, predict performance of IBPC coupling metrics than conventionally used echocardiography pre. Uh, criteria for success winning. And uh, among RV, it is a coupling matrix to uh, uh, S prime of RVSP more than uh, 433, uh, exhibit a, a most satisfactory predict uh, performance for success winning. This is a recent challenging trial on echo winning uh, named the PCLPO, uh, Pump Controlled Red Red Trial of. The basic concept of this method is to do our RV stress test. Uh, to start this trial, uh, to bring to uh, the low limb and this type of the Canada uh, was clamped and disconnect. Uh, bolus of heparin was uh, administ uh, administered. Uh, pump speed was reduced until a uh, retrograde flow of 0.5 uh, to 1.0 liter per minute uh, was achieved. And then she gas flow was turned off. And after one hour, the patient was considered ready for degeneration. Uh, if they fulfilled the uh, following criteria, uh, mean arterial pressure, uh, VIS scroll, and uh, base deficit, and FIO saturation. I'd like to give you a summary. Uh, ECMO winning uh, should be carefully decided based on clinical uh, echocardiographic and hemodynamic parameter. Uh, every VTI, every ejection correction, uh, by trialist prime, uh, conventional echocardiographic predictor for success winning, and minimal ECMO flow. I will pitch coupling metrics, uh, crucial predictor for success winning at full ECMO or support. Influent of retro E prime and S prime velocity during ECMO flow reduction trial uh, could predict a successful winning in refractory cardiogenic shock uh, for underwent by ECMO. Uh, thank you for your attention.